last class we learned how to solve a system of simultaneous linear equations in three unknowns. In this video, we are going to learn how to find out whether a system of simultaneous linear equations is consistent or inconsistent. For that, we should know the meaning of consistency and inconsistency. The opposite of consistency is inconsistency. Clearly, so if you know what is the meaning of consistent, when we say consistent in the real life also, your performance was consistent, your performance in mathematics has been consistent so far. The meaning of it is that you have been doing very well in mathematics so far. It means you have been stable in mathematics so far. In the system of, with respect to system of simultaneous linear equation also, the meaning of consistent is that the system has at least one solution. At least one solution. If the system has at least one solution, then we say a system is consistent. And suppose it is inconsistent. If the system is inconsistent, it means the system has no solution at all. So at least one solution means system is consistent. Now, how do we determine? Now, how do we? Now, what is the criteria for the consistency of the system of simultaneous linear equation? This is what we are going to learn in this video. First of all, we have to find determinant of k. You remember in the last video we have done that a system of linear equations can be written in the matrix form as ax equal to b, whose solution is given by, we learned also, we found also the solution as, solution is given by x is equal to a inverse b. For a inverse to exist, we know that determinant of a has to be found. It means a inverse can exist, Karta, you know it. When, in, when the matrix A is non-singular, so the determinant of A is non-zero, then we say A inverse exists. So clearly, the consistency also depends on the determinant of A. If the system is consistent, then the determinant of A has to be non-zero. That's one case. So let's write down all the cases when the consistency and inconsistency can occur. So let's write down the case one. If the determinant is non-zero, if the matrix A is singular, then we can say the system is consistent with a unique solution. With a unique solution. And the solution is given by x is equal to A inverse B. We have already talked about. So, first case is if matrix A is non-singular, the system is consistent. Because we can find a solution. And in that case, solution is unique. One solution. Case 2. If determinant of A is 0. Now here, we have to note down. Determinant of A agar 0 ho, in that case, the system can be consistent or inconsistent. When will it be inconsistent and when will it be consistent? We will discuss this. First, note down this much. This much. After noting down this much, we can come to the next fact. It said the system is consistent if determinant of the matrix A is non zero or A is non singular. In that case, solution is given by x is equal to A inverse B. So, this one case when we say system is consistent. Sometimes determinant of A is zero and still the system is consistent. When does this arise? We'll discuss in give an example in a short while. First of all, determinant of A is non-zero. In that case, we say solution is unique. Solution is the system is consistent with unique solution. And if determinant of A is zero, that means if A is singular matrix, then also system can be consistent. In that case, system has infinitely many solutions. But the fact is, the system is inconsistent when determinant of A is also zero. So here, if you see determinant of A is zero, system can be consistent also, inconsistent also. So how do we determine system is consistent with infinitely many solution or system is inconsistent with no solution? For that, I mean, one more thing we have to find out. We have to find out adjoint of A multiplied by matrix B. You know how to find adjoint of a matrix multiplied with matrix B. If you get a null matrix, then the system is consistent with infinitely many solution. That means, if you have a matrix A is find karna, you have to find matrix A, you have to find karna, it is singular. So, adjoint of A into B is 
अगर वो नल मैट्रिक्स आ रहा है सिस्टम कंसिस्टेंट है लेकिन फाइनली मेरी सॉल्यूशन बट इफ एट जॉइंट ऑफ ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाय बी इज नॉट कमिंग एज अ नल मैट्रिक्स द सिस्टम इज इनकंसिस्टेंट विद नो सॉल्यूशन नाउ हाउ डू वी गेट दिस फैक्ट यू नो हाउ डू वी गेट एट जॉइंट ऑफ ए टू बी इक्वल टू नल मैट्रिक्स व्हाट इज द कांसेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस लेट्स डिस्कस दिस कांसेप्ट ओवर हियर द कांसेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस क्राइटेरिया इज You know this equation of matrix form is written as a x equal to b. You multiply both the sides with a joint of a. Both the sides you are pre multiplying by a joint of a. What do we get? We get then this property of a joint a into a. In the one of the classes we have done this property if you remember. कंडीशन नोट कर लीजिए कंसिस्टेंसी और इनकंसिस्टेंसी की जिसे यू कैन रिमेम्बर दीज कंडीशन ऑफ कंसिस्टेंसी और इनकंसिस्टेंसी कैन नोट डाउन दू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस सो फॉर आफ्टर नोटिंग डाउन दिस कंडीशन ऑफ कंसिस्टेंसी और इनकंसिस्टेंसी यू कैन डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट सो कंसिस्टेंसी एज वी सेट कैन कैन अकर इन टू वेज ए इज नॉन सिंगुलर इन दैट केस कंसिस्टेंसी इन सिस्टम इज कंसिस्टेंट विद यूनिक सोल्यूशन A is singular in that case also system is consistent. For that, uh, you can have a joint of A into B. If it's a null matrix, the system is consistent with infinitely many solutions. But the system is inconsistent totally. If determinant of A is zero and a joint of A into B is also not equal to null matrix, which is like and the joint determ A is singular only with sasa. -sa. The second condition should also be applicable. Then system is consistent with no. Inconsistent with no solution. So after doing this much, let's understand the concept behind how we got this criteria of a joint A into B equal to null matrix, for which the solution system is consistent with infinitely many solution. So that for that discussing that, we wrap up this thing and let's see what will you know how what the concept is. The concept behind the whole thing is as we just said, we can write down the system of equations in the matrix form at A x equal to B. Now after that, we pre-multiply both sides with a joint A. Let's pre-multiply both sides with a joint A. After multiplying both sides, pre, after pre-multiplying both sides by a joint A, we have this property of a joint A into A, which is equal to determinant of A into I x. Remember this property we've done in the four point four five exercise. Maybe the exercise before before four point five. Yes, it was in four point five. We had calculated a joint. So we applied to that. We had discussed this property. Joint A into A is determinant of A into I is equal to a joint of A into B. Now, let's note this left hand side very carefully. As we said, we are talking about the condition when a system is consistent with infinitely many solutions or inconsistent with no solution. Determinant of A जब zero होता है, वो that that case we are going to consider here. Because अगर determinant of A non-zero होता है, तो बहुत easy है system consistent है with unique solution. But if determinant of a is zero, in that case, what happens on the left side? See, determinant of a is zero. हो गया. So left hand side क्या होगी? Null matrix. <laughs> left hand side is a null matrix. And what 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 do we have on the right side? See, अगर okay, equation balance करना है, left hand side में uh, null matrix आ रहा है. So right hand side में भी null matrix आना चाहिए. So equation balance होगी. So that means a joint of a into b अगर null matrix होगा, तो system क्या होगा? Consistent. In that case, with infinitely many solutions ab ab you want you must be wondering in infinitely many solution kaise hoga isse we will do some questions and one question based on it infinitely many solutions so agar equation balance karne to dono side true hona chahiye isliye humne kaha adjoint a into b agar null matrix ka system consistent hai so in that case equation is well balanced but if adjoint of a is not adjoint of a into b is not equal to a null matrix then what will happen Right hand side not equal to null matrix है, whereas left hand side is still the case same case determinant of a zero है, and a joint of a into b null matrix अगर नहीं है, if a joint of a into b is not a null matrix, and the left hand side is a, is a null matrix, the equation is not imbalanced, the equation unbalanced, left hand side is a null matrix, right hand side is not a null matrix. What do we say? The meaning meaningless equation, no? Uh, the two sides are not balanced. It's not a balanced equation. So what do we say? The system is inconsistent. So 
that's why if a joint of A into B is not equal to null matrix, the system is inconsistent with no solution. The criteria for the condition of for the consist criteria for the con consistency of a system of simultaneous linear equations were discussed in this video. We'll do some questions based on it in the next video.